the video in five seconds of the freaking spider gonna crawl down your throat, nigga. Why are you sleeping, my nigga? The fuck? Hey, what's going on, you guys? Drayski back with another video, bruh. Today, we're gonna get into a, another build video that um, I think is kind of unique. Um, it's a Michael Porter Jr. type build. So we're actually gonna go, we're gonna look at Michael Porter Jr. here. And let's go over to the Nuggets. Michael Porter Jr. Okay. So he's a 6'10. Um, small forward slash power forward. He got an 84 driving layup. 80 driving dunk. He got a 78 mid-range. 86 three-point shot. We can make a build that plays like him, but it's not going to be him. He does not have contact dunks, so we don't have to worry about getting contact dunks or getting close to like you could you could have a 70 something driving dunk and still be able to dunk consistently. So you don't really need that. Uh, he only got a 60 standing, uh, which ours will be a little higher. But uh, for the most part, it's going to be a Michael Porter Jr. type build. So we're actually going to get into that now. Let me see. 80. He got an 80 speed. So, yeah, we're going to go speed pie shard, of course. So, let's go down here and let's get it started. So, I'm going to go with sharp takeover, actually. Uh, sharp takeover, I feel like, is the best takeover for a Michael Porter Jr. build. Um, I really... I think this build is unique. Uh, I do not think... I do not, I think, what is he, right-handed? I think he is right-handed. Yeah, I think he is right-handed. Uh, we're going to go number one, of course. Number one, okay. And uh, for this Michael Porter Jr. build, we're actually going to go with the one with the shooting and finishing, but with a little more shooting. This is the build I feel like, or this is the patra I feel like best represents Michael Porter Jr. Uh, we're going to... Go ahead and max these stats out here uh we're gonna touch on this a little bit that's a 56 uh you want to max out these leave this max out these and you're not gonna get a defensive badge you can't like if you really wanted to you can max out this stuff uh and get more badges that way for those categories but just for the purpose of having michael porter jr's defensive stats he's pretty much well-rounded when it comes to all of these categories here interior and perimeter defense as well as lateral quickness everything is kind of well rounded well rounded so this is what we're gonna go with i feel like having stats like these actually really helps out even when you don't have defensive badges so uh we're gonna actually go with com nah. we're gonna go with built just for the fact that we're going 610 but you see the stats and everything dropped already we're gonna go minimum weight man minimum weight always remember that go minimum weight with the uh, we're actually gonna lower the wingspan to an 83 so you're not gonna be the dribble like him he got like a 70 something but at the same time you still like everybody has normal dribble moves anyway so even if you had a 70 something you would still have normal dribble moves um he has a you have an 82 mid-range shot as well as having a 79 three i believe he has an 83 so you, you're pretty much there when it comes to that you have a 74 driving duck and a 74 standard duck, which is really nice to have. And a 99.9, you'll have, uh, what is that? 99.9 is kind of crazy. You have a 75 driving, 75 standard. You can actually increase, oh, you know, I said that wrong. You have a 73 driving, 73 standard. Um, if you wanted to, you could increase it back to this and just have the 75 driving duck 80 something standing but just for the purpose of having the more shooting being able to shoot a little better because even if you go minimum wingspan it does not increase your three so i will go with this wingspan here um you get a 63 interior 63 perimeter 
and a 60 lateral quickness, 71 layup, uh, which is pretty decent for a 6'10 player. And then we're going to actually go with the sharp takeover with this build. So, uh, and uh, your speed stats, you'll have an 80, this is an 81 speed. I think he had like an 81, did he? You have a 78 lateral quickness, and you'll have a, is that 67, 68, wait, no, 67 plus 4, that's 71, 71 plus 4, you have a 75 vertical, which is not bad, so you'll pretty much be well-rounded at everything on this build, and yeah, this build is actually not that bad, so... We're gonna move on uh you got these choices for takeovers uh playmaker takeover i actually would not go with that wouldn't go with post scoring as well even though it give you plus 10 interior defense you don't really need that uh playmaking does give you plus 10 ball handle and layup but i really wouldn't go with that either slash and takeover is nice but it does not give you don't have contact dunk so you it won't increase the frequency as well as you don't even have a dunk close enough to be able to get contact dunks, so you won't be able to get contact dunks anyway. Uh, the one thing that's kind of good with this, though, with Slash and Takeover, is something that people don't know, is if you actually, like, it will give you big man contact dunks with this build with Slash and Takeover, because Slash and Takeover will boost everything by 10, so when you had a 74, oh, wait a minute, 69, 71, 72. Oh, you only got a 73. It, if you had a 74 driving dunk, you would have had an 84 with slash and takeover, as well as having like an 84 standard dunk. So you would be able to get big man contact dunks and contact regular contact dunks with this takeover. But Michael Porter Jr. does not really get that many contact dunks. He did dunk on Montrez Harrell a couple days ago, but like he doesn't really get that many. This is about his wingspan as well. So I would go with sharp takeover because he's a better shooter than he is a driver. You'll still be able to drive with this build, though. That's the one That's the one good thing about this build is you'll still be able to drive. You'll have the badges to be able to drive a little more consistently. So I would definitely pick Sharp Takeover. And with the Sharp Takeover, you end up getting a three-level score uh, similar to uh, James Worthy, Tobias Harris, and TJ Warren. Michael Porter Jr. does play like a Tobias Harris to me. He plays like Tobias Harris, kind of similar. Uh, probably he might end up being a little better, but I feel like he plays similar to Tobias Harris. So this video is a little quicker than my other ones, but uh, yeah, you do got a decent speed on this B, decent acceleration, being 6'10 and all, um, as well as having like a decent three and everything. Like this build is actually not that bad. It's a, it's a really decent build. Um, with our shoot, I mean, with our finishing badges, we're actually gonna go with relentless contact finisher gold consistent probably pro touch slithery silver acrobat silver uh lob city finisher probably bronze just so that we can catch some lobs and just in case if i guess you could put put back king in case you get the rebound but for me i'll probably put consistent up to gold and pro touch silver this is what i would do or if not that slithery finisher on gold Pro Touch Bronze Consistent Go. Something like along these lines. I really love Slytherin Finisher if you guys haven't noticed. Like I, I talk about it in every video. Um, with this, I would do Hot Zone Hunter Hall of Fame, Range Extender Hall of Fame, just for the purpose of those badges are OP. Um, corner Special Silver. I always get Corner Special Silver. I, I just like Corner Specialist on Silver. Like I feel like it just worked the best for me. Uh, Dead Eye Bronze. As well as having like green machine do catch and shoot on go because he does catch and shoot quite a bit difficult shots uh bronze yeah let's do bronze difficult shots i'm shooter bronze and then we'll do like bronze hot start or something like that this is actually not a bad badge setup and then you could sometimes hazel hunter works really good on silver too so you can lower that and put it somewhere else but just for what I like, I would do this. Uh, for our one defensive badge, we're actually going to go with Intimidator. Because Intimidator just makes you a better defender. Like, it doesn't matter what's going on. It, it, for some reason, it makes you a better defender. Anyway. Like, 
you can contest anything with Intimidator. It don't matter. Um, with with this here, we're actually gonna go with. I would want some downhill action, man. We we need some downhill action on this build, like just in case if you get the ball, just keep running. They allow unpluckable bronze at least. Quick first step. We want space crater on. Uh, probably go just because you got the extra badges. Tight handles. Probably either silver or gold. Stop and go. Um, handles for days, I guess. Something similar along these lines is really good. Actually, this build actually don't look bad, man. This looks like a pretty decent build to use. Pretty fun build to use in the park and probably to wreck and stuff like that. We got a lot of builds on this 2K. Like, you, you can really do a lot with these pie charts, even though I feel like they... I don't like the Playmaker Shot Creator pie chart. Like, I'm, I don't even think I want to make a build that involves that pie chart because it's just so fucking OP. But, um... <sighs> Alright, you guys. Really hope you guys enjoy. Comment, rate, subscribe. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day, and as always... No! WAIT! <laughs> <laughs> he should have hit the like button.